Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're going to do another handgun showdown. Now all of our handgun showdowns in the past featured one manufacturer versus another manufacturer and I would feature various firearms from each manufacturer and ask the viewers of this channel to choose which company makes the best handguns. This one's different. Today we're going to do 1911s versus revolvers. Now, I know there's a good amount of you guys out there that say, Oh, I got a Glock 19. I'm good to go. I'm not trading that for anything. Well, I understand that. I've got a Glock 19 too. But I'm looking for you to make a choice over which you prefer more, 1911s or revolvers. And I think this will be neat. Now, before we do that, we have to report the results back from our last handgun showdown, which featured Taurus versus Bursa. That was actually closer than I thought. Taurus pulled it out with the victory. Many people love Taurus handguns and Taurus won. Although I have to say, a lot of Bursa fans out there, far more than we even realized. So Taurus is yet to lose. I don't think CZ is lost yet. I don't think Ruger lost yet. So we'll see how this whole thing's going to work out in the future. But today, 1911s versus revolvers. Let's get this thing going. Let's start with 1911s. I am a huge fan of 1911s. They are so diverse. There are all kinds of 1911s, all kinds of sizes. This is just a small sample of what is available. Now, here's the most common 1911, not this particular one because it has color case hardening frame, which is absolutely beautiful. I show this off all the time. It's a Desert Eagle, but what's common about it is the size. It's got a five inch barrel. This is a, a 1911G, stands for government, which Typically holds an eight round magazine, a five inch barrel, and like all of them, they have a very short single action trigger that is amazing. This one measures right around three and a quarter pounds. It, it's so cool, but they come in all different sizes. So this is a new one from Rock Island Armory. It's called a BBR 3.10. The 3.1 is the barrel length of 3.1 inches it's it's fat because this has a double stack magazine that holds 10 rounds which is rather unique for a very subcompact 1911 all these have g10 grips on there and once again a very short single action trigger pull that is amazing 10 rounds rather unique for a subcompact 1911 now here we have Another subcompact that is a single stack mag. This one here holds six rounds, all right, but also a three inch barrel. This is the Magnum Research Desert Eagle as well. A very nice shooting, very nice looking handgun. And that single action trigger just keeps you on target and makes it real nice at the range. And then there's a larger one. This is a, a double stack, also known as a 2011. This one holds 15 rounds in the double stack magazine. This is a Remington R1 1911 enhanced. And there is that single action trigger. So it comes in all shapes and sizes, those 1911s do. As well as the commander size with the four and a quarter inch barrel that I, I featured in my opening. Outstanding handguns, a lot of history, very iconic. People love them. Not the most combative type of handguns, but many special forces choose a 1911 because of their extreme accuracy. Now let's talk about revolvers. The best way to describe revolvers would be reliably excellent. And that's why so many people love carry in and shooting revolvers because you don't have to worry about a magazine you don't have to worry about failure to feed or eject or anything like that they say you just pull the trigger and it should fire each and every time now let's start here with a snub nose revolver very popular people pocket carry these all the time this is a taurus 856 it weighs just under 16 ounces unloaded chambered in 38 special plus p six rounds in the cylinder which is new with this model nice color there single action very nice double action you're good to go with the the rubber grip and, and it's plus p you know so it makes for a good ccw firearm and many people swear by the uh, snub nose revolver is a, is a ccw gun and they just don't want to change here's a, another new one that i recently featured it's a taurus 692 this is a multi-caliber meaning that 357 and 38 special will fire through this cylinder and then you can easily switch out the cylinder for nine millimeter making it multi-caliber adjustable rear sights uh pinned in orange insert there for the front sight 
ported barrel and a rubber grip for that heavy 357 load seven rounds in the cylinder here and that single action trigger is very short so you've got the short 1911 triggers and you've got the short revolver triggers making this handgun showdown difficult to choose talk about deep concealment here's a north american arms pug in 22 magnum it's so small and light i mean it really is and revolvers are amazing in that regard five rounds of 22 magnum all right just pull the hammer back pull the trigger and you're good to go a little night sight in the front there nice little setup you know I, I used to carry it as a backup more than i do now but i but i do enjoy owning that and now this is the granddaddy of them all a colt python six inch barrel i've owned this for a while i i love it i love showing it off i love shooting it but i don't shoot it as much as i should because i understand the value of it and i'm trying not to baby it but at the same time i want a longevity with it it's just a beautiful all-around fire many people would say that this is the greatest revolver ever produced and i'm certainly not going to argue with that so which of these types of handguns would you choose would it be the reliably excellent revolver or the extremely nice functioning and beautiful 1911 i think this will be a good handgun showdown and i look forward to reading all the comments and tallying up what you guys choose if you like videos like this please subscribe and share I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.